Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, James Cameron, really, look, I, I think he needs to stop doing these interviews. Uh huh. Uh, it doesn't make him look very good. Gotta be honest, James Cameron, director of Avatar The Way of Water, among many other things, uh, got his career being known as the guy that does R-rated violent sci-fi movies like Terminator, like Aliens, and now he's like, yeah, I don't want to fetishize guns anymore. I, I know, but I, I mean, yeah, here's the thing. I mean, people can change their opinions and, and they can grow and change their minds. I, I mean, because we, we have people that, that, do, that do that all the time and, and then Twitter is like, how dare they? I'm going to hold them accountable for things they did 20 years ago, you know? That is true. So, I mean, if I'm going to be fair... You, you know, he could totally change his mind and want to not want to step away from that. But it's not very smart to probably make that announcement when your movie's in theaters. <laughs> so, especially when you've cultivated a certain audience, uh, a lot of people know James Cameron mostly for you know, Terminator, Aliens. Yeah, Titanic was a big hit. Uh, but Avatar, uh, you know, the first Avatar had a lot of had a lot of guns, had a military. Yeah. Well, this one has guns on. in it too, but I guess they took out like ten minutes. They thought it was over the top, but they but, still kill a whale in a in a horrible manner, I guess. But you know, but not with a gun, right? Not with a gun. They don't. Like so you can still kill people, but you just don't use guns. And you know, I mean, to be fair, like since since these his movies like Terminator and stuff are big, we had a lot of school shootings that have happened and stuff since then. Um, but that's again like saying you know everybody's violent because of video games. So I'm not going to do video games anymore. You know. Uh, yeah, this kind of reminds me of when Steven Spielberg briefly. Uh, I think they restored it but he kept the guns out of et because they had the fbi agents there and uh instead of having guns when the kids were on their bikes yeah when they're escaping mm -hmm. with et they all walkie talkies i'm like no 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 this is the 1980s this is the fbi they're absolutely positively going to have guns kids or no kids doesn't matter they're talking aliens they're I talking think you need yeah. to leave things alone as a product of its time like don't change it to go take things out like you had the mickey comics you had to take the guns and the cigarettes and stuff i've talked it. about this before yeah i one of my gigs and you know weirdly enough we're just talking about idw yesterday and that was one of the publishers i had to do it for but i actually had to go in and redraw panels of 40 50 year old comics to take the guns and the cigars out of the comics because current year disney would not allow those comics to be published as is. Right, but like yeah. sometimes things are just a product of its time and you're allowed to change your mind and you're allowed to regret something. I think that it, it'd be unfair to say he can't. But I don't know if right now would be the time <laughs> to make these statements. Well, we'll talk, he's been, he's been making, but you know, look, we'll, we'll talk about this because Avatar is actually, look, it's doing good. I'll admit it, it's doing good. Um, I still Finally, don't have- Finally, it started out really slow. I still don't have a desire to see it, just to reiterate for the 40th time for the freaking morons Well, to reiterate again for the morons in the back, we always said it would do well. We just didn't think it would do well as well as the first one. I mean, not initially, they'd release it to make sure it did because even the first one didn't do as well as the first one did until it was re-released a couple times. Yeah, so, um, yeah, and I actually, and I've said before, I actually like Pandora in Disney it World. It's his favorite. It's one of my favorite places in all of Disney World, and I don't even like the movie that much because I thought it was boring. Uh, this Avatar 2, I'm waiting for streaming because I don't I don't care I'm enough. not going to watch it at all. The but... next movie we're going to the theater to go see, I think, is Shin Ultraman. Yes. That one I do care about Yes, seeing. you're going to go see that. Yeah. But, yeah, no, we always said this movie was going to do well. It started out very slow, which was very surprising. Um, to a lot of people, but it's, but I think you even said before that it came out, it might be a slow burn. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, then, and, and, and going into the new year, it was going to probably do better, which is what we said. And that seems to be the case. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's talk about this. We're going to talk about this and I'm going to, I'm going to pose a question uh, to people. Where, where were you? Where were all of you? All yes. you pro James Cameron people, where were all of you when Alita needed your help? Exactly. That's what we're mostly going to talk about. We're going to talk about. <laughs> The, the double standard and hypocrisy of the, the outraged douchebags on Twitter. So let's uh, let's talk about all of this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Almost 284,000 subs. Woo Thank you for the support. Um, you know what we should do? We need a new intro where we just like pre-record all of that so I don't have to say it every time. No, because everybody does time. that. They have the little like, you know, like and subscribe and buy my merch little thing that goes across the street. I can do that. Oh, by the way, if you want to buy the merch, you can go out to shopclownfish.com. Shopclownfish.com. And then shop we, have, we have books and pins. Oh, there it is. We have yeah. some uh, books from the, the Shadow Bonners volume one and two. There's some, there's a, I, I think five. Five of these left. And that's it. 
And then um, we got all these new pins in. They're bigger than the, the original ones. They're nicer than the original ones. Um, heavier duty. Double. They have double pin back. Yep. They're bigger. They're cool. Anyway. They're cool. So go check them out at shopclownfish.com. So, so let's talk about James Cameron getting rid of the guns yes. from Avatar 2. Uh, this is coming from the Daily Beast. Yeah. That I'm all not going to be too rude to the dude because, I, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of people roast people for like, you made a joke 10 years ago and I thought that was shit. So, I mean, if you change your mind, you know, you're allowed to do that. You're you're allowed to do that. It's not it's, a good time to announce it. I, I would wait until the movie's out of theaters because yes. what, what's going to happen, this is kind of the same thing with him flipping people off, asking for autographs. Now, I do believe those people were being rude. I think they were. We have said that him. in the video, but he still shouldn't have flipped them off because there's cameras fl- there. There's cameras there. So then what's going to happen is like entitled James Cameron flips off, you know. Um, so Cameron said he cut 10 minutes from Avatar 2 to avoid fetishizing guns like he did in Terminator. But the Terminator was the bad guy in the first movie. I look back on some of the films I've made, and I don't know if I would want to make that film now. Right, because it was made at a different time, which I said. I don't know if I'd want to fetishize the gun like I did in a couple of Terminator movies 30-plus years ago. I don't think that was fetishizing a gun. It was just that that's the type of movie that was big then. and uh, Yeah. It's not, I mean, it wasn't fetishizing guns until after like shooting started to be a problem. You know what's... Weird about the whole thing, and this is a whole nother tangent, and I'm not going to go down this road because we're not too overly political on this channel, but we had movies that were much, much more violent back in the 70s and 80s, but we didn't have the real life violence like we do mm-hmm. now, which and I, I, I'm going to be completely honest. I don't know why. I don't know what changed, um, but we grew up. I mean, I, you know, I was. I, was watching the RoboCop movies, weirdly enough. And the first two RoboCop... He was watching with a puppy because a puppy won't sleep The puppy night. won't sleep. So I'm like, I got... And I started watching old Doctor Who. And I'm like, well, I've already seen all these multiple times. And then I started watching, believe it or not, Little House on the Prairie. God, I hate Little House on the Prairie. And, you know, I was watching Little House on the Prairie. And the first one was like the books. And after that, it was became I the most... the Waltons, too. <laughs> soap opery, like crazy. Like, you start looking at the episode synopsis at the end of Little House on the Prairie, like season seven and eight... And it's like just batshit crazy episode. Like, oh, this character's on meth, and then they burn down the orphanage, and this character and there's got, children on fire, there's <laughs> children on fire, and God, everybody's blind, and then they blow up, and literally they end Little House in the Prairie with blowing up the town. They Was it bl- Walnut Grove or whatever? Yeah, they blow up Walnut Grove because you know that happened in the books. There's a historical <laughs> record of that. Laura Ingalls Wilder, you know, she had a book, you know. But anyway, uh, so you're watching. Little House Go Boom, so he that gradu- was her last book. <laughs> he graduated to RoboCop, which I don't even know how you get from Little House on the Prairie to RoboCop. I, I just wanted. But now the puppy like actually gets excited to to, to, uh, watch, RoboCop. to watch RoboCop. Until we got to RoboCop 3. And even the dog was disgusted <laughs> by RoboCop 3, how shitty RoboCop 3 is. I can't believe this. This was like a bad made-for-TV movie parody of RoboCop. They, okay, they but toned we're him down. really off topic. Well, they to- oh, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. okay. So RoboCop was incredibly violent. The first one especially. I watched it when I was like 10 years old. I wasn't allowed to watch this. Lots of guns. RoboCop's doing all kinds of crazy stuff with guns. In fact, his son showed him how to spin his gun and all that stuff. And RoboCop became kind of an institution in the 80s. The Terminator became an institution. I was Aliens. Say, like, we had like Rambo and Predator and all that shit. How freaking weird were the 80s that we had toy lines for yeah. Terminator, RoboCop, um, Aliens, all these R rated Rambo, all these R rated movies that had toy lines marketed to children for R rated movies alongside the Care Bears and the Cabbage Patch Kids and the My Little Ponies. Yeah, but the Care Bears and My Little Pony flip and fought like Satan, like Satan characters, like Satan characters. They did. Characters. All of, yeah, the Care Bears, they had like they a, had a book, a, a book of the book of the damned. Know? Yeah, basically. It's like, oh, I, I forget though. I remember Mickey Rooney was in the Care Bear movie. I haven't seen it in like forever. But yeah, there was like a hellish book that they had to fight. And then ponies fought Satan. They literally fought Satan because the people that worked on the first My Little Pony special were the same people that worked on the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. And it shows. Yeah. And then yeah. that's what we were like in the 80s. And now it's like, um, oh yeah, Megatron was an actual like toy gun. Megatron but was now, an actual toy gun. Yes. Now you can't have that. And then look, I mean, I get it. It's a completely different time period now than it was then things changed um you can't expect things that to happen in movies and stuff now that would have happened then i get that but there's no point like you know you can say you know uh i'm a different place now 
But like, I regret the fetishization of these. It's this, like, this is right along with the same thing you're saying about, you know, testosterone, all shit. And I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be a dick. I am a dick, but I'm not trying to be one. I just, I blame you. I blame you because I grew up watching your movies. No. Um, you're responsible for so many dicks. <laughs> you're, you're so responsible for that. Uh, but the, the, the truth of the matter is, is you made your career make, and this is kind of like Kevin Smith too. It's like you made your career dunking on Hollywood and then you get pissed off when other people dunk on you because you've gone soft, you've gone Hollywood. And the same thing with James Cameron. I, mean, I almost feel like you get to a place and look, it could happen to us someday too, where it's like once you get yours, mm -hmm. you know, you do what you got to do, but you got your money. You don't have to. You're right. Then you can do your, your passion projects. And I think that Avatar is a passion project. But look, I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to vilify him for being in a different place now than he was then, because we always stand out for other people that get like on Twitter. How many other people that have that? Well, they, they made a joke 20 years ago where they I'm like, yeah, but that was 20 years ago. So, I mean, you can't really you can't really you know, fault somebody for changing who they are over time. But right now would probably be a not a good time to be making these comments. Just have that 10 minutes out, cut out. No one would have known. Don't say anything. I mean, just wait till the movie's out it's, of theaters and then say, oh, yeah, we had 10 minutes extra. We cut it out because we didn't want to glorify gun violence. But people might be calling him out on that. Like, dude, you literally built your career off of ultraviolet, testosterone-laden movies. And now you're going to be like, yeah, guns are bad and balls are bad. Balls and guns are bad, everybody, but naked blue cat people, that's where well, it's at. Well, yeah, but they're, it's okay if you kill things with spears and arrows. This is you're not allowed to kill things with guns. Um, but all of those things are violent. What what gets me though isn't so much like James Cameron said this, which was really not very smart. But like you were saying about these people that are want to defend Avatar so hard, no matter what they're trying to defend this, even yeah. by putting words in people's mouths they didn't say. This is so weird. Okay, so th I'm gonna tell you the truth. I I think this is the Disney factor. Now Alita came out uh, when they were in the middle of buying Fox, and it was gonna come out. Regardless, but it came out after Disney owned it. after Disney owned it. But they pit Alita against Captain Marvel. No, what by they we're talking the media and the Twitter. same type of people on Twitter. And so now what's going on is now because we've got people saying and look the media is saying it too and Avatar is doing well. I believe it never said it wasn't going to do well, but it was disappointing enough week one that it actually dropped Disney's stock. Multiple yes. media outlets it I, bombed I wanna, in I, China. I'm I wanna, sorry, I wanna, it bombed I wanna, in I'm going to talk about this for a minute too. Yeah. The whole China thing. What we said was, I'm so tired of everything being blamed on COVID. And I'm going to say it again for this, because when Disney got the green light to release Avatar in China, Disney already knew that there was a COVID issue. They already knew a bunch of theaters had, you know, were shut down. They knew that that Shanghai Disney Park had shut down numerous times because of COVID. So going into it, they knew these things. So they already factored that in. And even then, it was still, by ticket sales, anticipated to be like $200 million opening weekend. It ended up doing $57 million. That was not good, and it underperformed in China, even by their own expectations, factoring in COVID. Yes. Now, I want to point out again, like I pointed out before, for the morons who don't know what the fuck they're talking about, was that globally it underperformed by 50 million the first week. Now, that was including China. China was almost 150 million under expectations, which meant the rest of the global market did better because it put it back up so it was only under 50 million, which we've said repeatedly. It doesn't matter what you say. They're they, so hot, hot to, to white knight for this movie. It's ridiculous. That, that's what that's what gets me. So here's my question. This is what, where I'm really confused. Because you do know James Cameron made Alita, right? He didn't direct it. Robert Rodriguez well, did. But he he's the primary driving force behind Alita. So. Right, but they don't know that. And beyond that, though, even if they did, they don't care because for all their talk about how they want change and they want re re representation for women and all this other shit... But they only want it when it's what the way they want it. So when Alita came out against Captain Marvel, the takeaway was we have two big, strong, female-led movies that are, are released at the same time. That is a win. Both uh, movie, well, at least the one that Alita had a bunch of diversity, also a win. But their takeaway was, oh crap, we have to, we have to white knight for the white woman, Brie Larson, because Captain Marvel wasn't doing well, and people don't like it, and 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 we gotta defend Disney, we gotta defend Marvel, we gotta defend Brie Larson, the white blonde woman. Who they and, turned on as soon as right. she started peddling NFTs, by right, the way. Right, yeah. They yeah. turned on her immediately as soon as yeah. she started peddling. Yeah. But the point was they had two if you were honestly sincerely about 
female empowerment, female led films, you know, action films. You had that. You had that win. The media ran with let's pit them against each other instead of, hey, look at all the win we got. Yeah. And it's it's just a very it was a very weird thing. But yeah, I, you know, that was also James Cameron. That was also James Cameron. What gets me is the, like, does he white knight in for it then? No, they didn't. Um, And it underperformed. I mean, I guess it did OK enough. They're but, talking about doing another one now. So. Yeah. So that's I mean, that's one good thing to come out of this. I think if if Avatar does make and it might break two billion dollars. I don't know. I'm going to be completely 100 percent honest with with this one. I, I don't know. Same thing with. Maverick. I was wrong about Maverick. I honestly did not think it was. I thought it was maybe like seven, eight hundred. I'm like, yeah, it's Top Gun, but Top Gun was a very '80s. Thing oh, but don't you know you can't? You're not allowed to like Top Gun and Maverick. I actually saw a person on Twitter going on how they were ashamed of themselves because they liked, they liked Maverick because they know it's propaganda. It wasn't propaganda. Did you watch? If you watched the movie, you said you loved the movie. Then how the hell do you get propaganda out of that shit? It was just a good movie that was for the fans. That that. I can't even. And I guess after this, after we have water, you know, it, it falls in the same traps. It's pretty much the same movie all over again, just in a different setting. And that's what their complaint about uh, Maverick was. Same thing with Way of Water. It's the exact same issue. But how, it's okay for one, but not for the other. And we said that this was probably not going to beat Maverick for the year because it came out too late. But it would likely beat it overall, yeah. but not by the end of 2022. I, I just, it's, it's weird. God, these like people are so fucking stupid. The mental gymnastics, basically what happens is you get the media and you get Twitter and they get fixated on one or two things that they Because the feel... Twitter tells them what to think. Yes. Their overlords say, this is what you have to be pissed about today. Well, it's not actually Twitter. It's actually well, Discord I telling... I the people on Twitter, yeah. Yes, yeah, sending the twits out to Twitter. But it's going to be really interesting what, what i find so funny about the whole thing is this is this whole stand thing is going to end because they're weeding out the bots on twitter and twitter's not yours anymore like they can't run twitter anymore they can't run people off of twitter like they used to anymore because the rules have changed the deck has been reshuffled and it's not in your favor anymore so all they can do is scream and yell into the void and it does, it's not going to have the weight because even now a lot of journal, journalists now are like, I'm not going to quote Twitter because Twitter is where the alt-right lives and that's mm, bad. Let's go to Mastodon, you know. I don't hear Mastodon. I just think of dinosaurs. Anyway. Mastodon, Mastodons are like elephants, or, but you're like Republicans, so it must be bad. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. That, there you go. Mastodon, they're related to, they're probably related to elephants. Hives. That out. just means that you're Republican. <laughs> Hives, hive reminds me of a beehive where the woman is in charge, so it must be good. That's right. <laughs> I'm just like, but I, the point is, James point. Cameron probably, you know, he's allowed to make, he's allowed to regret past films but those past films are what gave him the opportunity to do the ones he's doing today yeah i mean you can it's probably you probably shouldn't shit where you eat right now yeah that's that that's my thing like like and this is the same thing with him flipping people off the same thing with the testosterone mm -hmm. thing like you need this movie to make ridiculous money and it's making good money but maybe there are more people that would have gone to see it if they weren't like why did the terminator and aliens guy turn into such a pussy that's true it basically you know? said it's you know you're you're if you're manly you're you're toxic you know all this other yes shit. it's like, like oh, why are good. the men coming to see my movie and then you have you know then that's the one element and you're allowed to change your mind but you probably should wait until and these statements did not need to be made right now the other side of it is if you wanted to lead a two this one probably has to do well to hit the elite two um, but the same people that are white knighting for Avatar and, and literally having mental meltdowns because you you said they think they think you said something you didn't say that you thought it was going to fail are the same people who rooted for Alita to fail. Yeah, because they don't realize it's the same people. Yeah, I, I mean, that's what blows my mind about this. Like, I mean, this, this is this is where it's all it's all interconnected, kind of like the environment. Like if Avatar Avatar does well, James Cameron's going to have more ability to be able to do movies that might not make as much money like Alita, you mm -hmm. know, but then again, you got to realize that like he worked on these too, but then I'm worried now when he's making comments like that about the gun violence, I'm like, you know, there's guns and violence in Alita. There's a lot of violence. There's guns and violence in, in Avatar, but not as, but 10 minutes less, which cuts the movie down to about six and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> but so. it's like I think the big problem people aren't going to see Avatar is because it's so fucking long. But you know, look, you're allowed to like it. You're allowed not to like it. 
Like Neon's gonna watch it. I'm not gonna watch I'll it. I'll watch it on streaming. I'm not. I'm not making a trip um, to the theater for no. it. No, and, and that's for... cool. But you know, at the end of the day, James Cameron probably should stop talking because he's just <laughs> making it worse for himself. And you know, it's gonna do well. But the flip side is, if it does do well, you know, you might not want to root for it to fail because if it does do well, you might get Alita two out of it. There are people whose opinions I trust that have gone to see it. And in fact, I think a review on the, the Clownfish site was actually pretty positive of it. I think the Pirates and Princesses review was fairly positive of it. Um, it's not the second coming. It's not the greatest thing ever. But Pretty it's much not. just a rehash of the first movie, but different location. Oh, with wetter, wetter, wilder. Yeah, you know, wetter, blue, wilder, blue, cat, blue cat people. people. If that's your thing, you know, good for you. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, like, God, this this whole thing with this this movie stand bullshit, you know, is ridiculous because it always paint it always, uh, you know, taints your perception. Taint, eh, I said taint. Taints your perception. That's toxic. Of That's too masculine. It always taints your perception I'm of offended. reality. <laughs> Women have taints too. I'm offended. It 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 um, it's too close to balls. Balls are bad. It involves your perception of reality. It involves your perception. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh, but it does. Cause it's like, you get these people that are, and then there, look, it's on the other side too. You get people that are so, you know, they, they want the movie to fail so badly that when it's making money, it's like, Hey, it's making money. But then you have other people that are like, look, the mainstream media, literally people that ha don't even have a, a bone in this are saying this, this is still underperforming. No, it's not. They're all right. Liars. Elon Musk got to them. And then the media, you also the media who's like, oh, it didn't perform as well as I thought it should. It has to be COVID. And if it's not COVID, it's the flu and RSV. It's the bigots <laughs> and the misogynists. I just, maybe it's STDs from you licking his ass so hard. I don't know. But it's just like, but what I get about James Cameron is he, he has all these fans that came from the movies like Terminator. Yes. He built his career on that. He got yes. to a place where he can make these movies he wants to make because he did so well with those movies as a fan base. It probably isn't smart to basically imply that your fan base that likes those movies that are violent and have guns in them are toxic because they're testosterone laden, toxic people, men. Yes. And it probably isn't wise. No. When the movie's in theaters to say that. No one would have known the 10 minutes was gone. You could have waited until it was out of theaters and then said, hey, you know, by the way, there's 10 more minutes in it. But I'm in a place now where I think that we need to move past this because personally, I have an issue with it, with the way the world has changed in the past 20 years. People have been like, oh, OK, I understand that. No I, problem. I, I think even if he had said you know, the stuff like in maybe and like the commentary or something on the Blu-ray, I think if he had only said one of these things, but when you pair this up with the testosterone comment, you know, it, it's, it's looking like he is literally ashamed of the work that got him to where he's at. And this is the same thing that happened. And the Kev fans that, that, the fans that, that allowed got him, him to be able to do these other projects because they've supported him. Yeah. Not smart. It was kind of like uh, down and out in Beverly Hills. Cause I'm that old. I remember that movie, but um, the son was complaining about hangers. Cause the guy had a hanger business and, and a uh, dry clean business. And he's like, this basically pays for everything. Shut your bitch mouth. Don't you complain about that? And it's the same thing, James Cameron, the reason you can spend the ridiculous amount of money you want to spend on pet projects like avatar, which nobody would have greenlit if you weren't James Cameron, let's be honest, it's too damn expensive. Uh, it's too weird. But the reason that you can do these things, you can pick and choose what you want to do and put a movie out every 10 years and it makes ridiculous money is because of the fan base, and the goodwill you built with Terminator, you built with aliens, you know. And how come Terminator wasn't so terrible and toxic and gun violence wasn't so bad a few years ago? And they tried to reboot it and make it all women. Uh, it they was had to okay balance then. it out. They had to balance the bullets with the boobs. Just, just stupid. Tits for Anyway, tits. but the people that are losing their shit, it's funny because they, 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 they lose their shit over one thing and, and defend it to the death. But then they also were like, you know, like hating on something else by the same person. It, it just depends on the, on the political messaging they feel that they have to stand behind because that's what they should do as, as the warriors they are. Yeah, so anyway, um, that's that's what this is about. It's about making sure everybody knows your politics. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. But then my next thing is, if you were so for women empowerment, why the, and diversity, why the hell did you shit on Alita then? Very good question. I have That would have been a win. That would have been a win for both. And Alita didn't have a copious amount of gun violence. It was more sword violence. No, they were just pissed because she decided to put the body image in her head look like the the the, the manga and the anime. Yeah, we can't have that. We can't have that. She had tits. How dare she 
How dare she don't you know have tits? Real women now don't have them. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this up. Yep. We've beaten this blue cat person to death. And that's the problematic. All right, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.